Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves this morning a Team Pixel care package. I think I know what is in here, but we're going to unbox this bad boy and give some first impressions of what's inside. Let's start off with this. This is this is one I don't exactly know what's going to be inside. What on earth? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it's cookies. Well, bon appetit indeed. That is uh, very unexpected. Didn't think that was going to be in there. And this is the other thing. And this actually will slide out of this sort of, uh, I don't know what you call that, plexiglass or plastic probably. Let's lift off that lid. And guys, there we have it. We've slid around a little bit in there, but we have our Pixel 8 Pro, and it looks like it's in the cream color as well as the Pixel Watch 2, which does look very similar to the Pixel Watch 1. Peel this off. Immediately, I am digging that flat screen. Cannot wait to fire this thing up and see what we've got, guys. Google Pixel Collection. I feel multiple things in here. Okay, I, I'm, I'm guessing what this is. As you can see, this has already been unboxed. I'm guessing that these are going to be the boxes of the two devices contained in the other package. So you can see here, set up my Pixel 8 Pro has popped up on my Pixel Fold. And I believe that's going to very quickly expedite, <coughs> excuse me, expedite this setup process. Already grabbed my Wi-Fi, that's pretty slick. I'm gonna go ahead and put my secondary SIM in here. Looks like the SIM tray is on that side. Let's pop that out. And it looks like a pretty basic SIM tray. Unfortunately, we are well past the days of SD card expansion in devices like that. Like this, I should say. Let's set up that fingerprint reader. I don't know if they've changed the technology on this. I, it looks to me like, see how it's, it's lighting up? So this is not an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which to be honest, I never really had like a ton of issues with these optical ones, but I know that some people have. We'll leave it as it is for now. There is face unlock as well. So we'll go through that setup process real quick. Hopefully you'll be able to see here. There's my face. Tilt your head up, tilt your head down. There's the face unlock. So that is set up as well. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and copy stuff from probably my Pixel Fold. One thing I should add is that apparently the face unlock now is more secure. You can actually use it to unlock banking apps and things like that now, whereas before you had to use your fingerprint scanner to do that. Actually, it's just transferring directly from the Pixel Fold already, I guess because I did that QR code scanning. So that is pretty cool. I guess while that's continuing, I'm gonna begin the setup process on the Pixel Watch 2, and I've been wrestling with this in my mind. Do I set it up on the Pixel 8 Pro or on the Pixel Fold? Obviously, I'm going to have a SIM in here. I'm going to be carrying it around and using it, but I'm also really conflicted about leaving this thing behind. There's a big part of me that thinks I don't ever want to be without my Pixel Fold. So I think I'm going to be dual wielding both of these devices for the next like week or so. And I think this is going to continue being my primary device as I review this thing. What I'm going to do is I'll like have my text messages going to this through the messages for web apps. So I think this is going to be paired with the Pixel Fold. All right, so this is almost done. We're going to go ahead and select English. And then we should be able to, over here, open up the Pixel Watch application. And I'm assuming what I'm going to have to do is disconnect the current Pixel Watch. So let's go ahead and unlink that and let's click on Add Watch and it should see this Pixel Watch 2 and begin that setup. It did. Something popped up there that I don't know what that was. Copying's done. By the way, I did actually get to select each of these things. So it pulled my text messages from device to device, which is really, really excellent to see. And of course, my experience with the Pixel Watch 2, whether it's here or here, should be exactly the same. They're both pixels. They should have all the same features. So it shouldn't matter in any way. This shouldn't change my, my review on it. So 
I think that's indeed what I'm going to do. All right, swipe to navigate. We're just going to skip because I already know how all that stuff works. Let's swipe up to go home and look at that. It has actually copied my exact layout from the Pixel Fold. That is awesome. So I'm just like instantly right at home. Let's tap to set that up. Boom, there's that. It's probably still finishing installing some of these things. Hopefully it restores my widgets as well. But dude, that's awesome. It just grabbed it exactly. And of course, over here, we can open up the Fitbit application and that should allow us to link this to this. So let's go ahead and replace my uh, Pixel Watch with my Pixel Watch. And over here, you can see this thing does not come with a whole lot of stuff pre-installed, which I love to see. It looks like there is an update already out for this thing. So we need to grab the charger and that'll actually give me an opportunity to speak about that charger a little bit because it has actually changed. Rather than being straight up wireless, it does now use pogo pins. So obviously they're going to be magnetic. So it's still going to attach in a fairly automatic way, as you can see there, and it actually is quite firm. It is, like I said, a pogo pin now instead of being fully wireless. We can actually plug this in. All right, so we're plugged in over there. Let's go ahead and do the update. And of course there is also in the package a longer band. Maybe you can't see that super well, but there you go. It's a longer band if you have a larger wrist. I do not. Back over on the 8 Pro, I wanna see what kind of wallpapers we have over here. Let's go into more wallpapers. Here's some cool things. So there is that AI wallpaper that we talked about on the Pixel Fold. And there's one that I made on the Pixel Fold. It actually carried over to this device. That's really cool. You can see minerals. Living Universe, of course, those are all the old live wallpapers. They've been adding it for a long time. Community Lens, Curated Culture. There are so many wallpapers on this thing. We have a problem over here. Let's try this again. Jump into our settings and see if we see anything interesting in here. Let's go to Display. Screen Timeout, it actually synced that setting from my other device. Colors, Adaptive or Natural. We're going to stick with Adaptive. Screen resolution, you can actually drop it. Oh, it's actually by default on high res. Let's go up to full resolution and really get the full experience out of this device and then we'll perhaps change it later and see if that affects the battery life in a positive way. Smooth display, this is interesting. This has between 60 and 120 hertz, but I believe this thing is supposed to be one to 120 hertz. I don't know if that's an error or what's going on there. Let's go look at the gestures. Do we have anything new here? This looks like pretty much the same stuff. Interestingly enough, developer options already enabled. Perhaps that's part of that syncing process. And there is also an update available for this as well. So day one patches for the watch and for the Pixel 8. Let's take a second, get all this stuff fully updated, and then we'll pick back up. One thing we can probably do real quick while this update is installing is let's use this lens to take a picture of this stuff down here. And we're going to go with the translation option. And you can see it's actually changed it like on the box itself. House founded in 1862. And then that says now the duration. It's doing it in like real time. What on earth? That's crazy. Huh. So battery's too low to continue this update. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of ignore it for now. And we're going to jump in and do some further testing. I'll get it updated and then we'll kind of carry on after this video. But for now, I want to check out some of these cool features like Magic Editor and things like that. You can see a little crazy looking icon there and that should be the Magic Editor. So let's jump into this and see what we can do. Magic Editor. Let's go ahead and hit try now. Not sure what to do. Try a Magic Edit. Oh, so does it have like a different portrait mode? Oh, wow, I just tapped the dog and it highlighted it. That is more like what Samsung does. That is really, really good. Holy mackerel. What does the plus button do? Plus, minus. I don't understand what those things do. Okay, uh, we can long press and move her around. Let's move her down there and let's see what that does. This just feels like magic. It really does feel like magic. My lord. Uh, real time. How long does this take to generate? We are going to find out. And of course, this already has a portrait mode applied to it. Look at that. Moved her right down there. And let's zoom into where she came from. That's all grass that it created. Look at that. I mean, like the because it's blurred... It looks a little bit strange, 
What are there like different versions of it? There are. Yeah, these are all slightly different. It's giving you like, di like different results. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, let's go back and let's try this on maybe a better a better photo. This might be a really interesting one. Let's see if we can move this caterpillar around on this picture and see if it can like account for this wood grain and all of those strange things going on. So we're just going to tap it and it grabbed that caterpillar and now we're going to move it. It didn't get all of its little hairs though. It didn't get all of its little hairs. So that could be a problem. Let's see what it's able to come up with though. That was asking a lot. The fuzz on a caterpillar, we're asking a lot out of this thing. But come on, unless you're zooming in and looking for those hairs, like you'll see them there. But look what it filled in there. That is really impressive. Guys, Magic Editor is the real deal. This is legit. All right, let's let's really get crazy. Let's see if we can delete rows here and, and see if it can handle the bars on that fence. If it can do that, that's going to be absolutely insane. Mind you, Magic Eraser, Unblur, Portrait Blur, these are all already in their own location. This is its own thing. So let's zoom in. Did not quite get her ears. So we're going to see if we can kind of do that and get her ears... I mean, that's not too bad. Did not quite get her feet all the way. So let's add them in. <laughs> all right, so Rose is fully selected. And now what we're going to do, we're just, let's just try erasing her for this one. Oh my lord. How? How? What? Are you serious right now? Are, are you you cannot be serious. I am <laughs> I am in literal shock right now. You cannot be serious. I'm going to need a minute to compose myself. Guys, this might be the most the single most impressive thing I have ever seen a phone do. If I'm being totally honest with you, that is one of the most insane things I have ever seen. We need to kind of look at at least a couple of other things. It's going to the camera, and we should have that pro mode, which does appear like it is right there. So this is how that pro mode does work. Brightness, shadow, white balance, focus, shutter speed, and ISO. I'm really interested in, and it, yeah, great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. It does, in fact, have focus peaking. So you can see how when something is in focus, let's use the, the pixel watch here. You can see how it's got those purple highlights on it. That tells you that it is in focus. So when you snap that photo, you're going to know like 100% that that shot was going to be in focus. But as you can see there, there are plenty of other options. Let's go ahead and just reset those and we'll, we'll leave uh, pro mode behind. Of course, it does have the automatic switching to a macro mode. And man, you can like, you can get way up in there on some of this stuff for a macro mode. Look at that. Look out. <laughs> that is a really, really good macro mode, I think. Read aloud. The Google Pixel tablet is down to its best price yet for Prime Day. Google's tablet is even more affordable this Prime Day. Readers like you help support it. Okay, that is pretty slick, but I saw another option. Summarize. So this should take this page. Wow, dude. This is so good. This stuff, this stuff is so good. All right, so we've talked a lot about the Pixel 8 Pro. Let's touch on the Pixel Watch for at least a minute. It does look like it's going to be very, very similar to the original Pixel Watch. The interface looks exactly the same. It looks, it feels very much the same. So I don't really have a whole lot to say about this guy just yet. I do have it fully charged. I need to get it set up the rest of the way with my own watch face. I might change the band out as well to the one I was using on my other Pixel Watch because luckily it does have the same attaching mechanism. Um, but yeah, not much I can really say about this thing at this moment. Let's take a look at some photo samples here. This is the ultra wide and honestly, I'm pretty happy with this because it is significantly wider than the standard lens. If we punch in here a little bit, you can see that the details, the colors all looking pretty good but when we go to that 1x that is a big 
difference between those two. The color profile does stay, I think, fairly consistent. If we zoom in here, you can see some nice colors resolved here on the trunk of the tree. If we go to the 2x digital zoom on this next shot, you will see, I think it looks okay. You know, it's a digital zoom, so it's never going to look as good as an optical zoom, but I think it does a pretty decent job. But let's talk about the optical zoom. Let's go to the 5x, and guys, I think there might be a really big improvement on this 5X optical. That to me looks really, really outstanding if this clears up a bit more. Man, look at the detail you're getting. That is so far away. If we go back to this original shot, look how far away that is. And you're getting all the way to there. That is really, really outstanding. And if we look at this shot here again, 5X optical on the Pixel 8 Pro versus 5X optical on the Pixel Fold, I think what you'll see is the Pixel 8 looks significantly better. The colors look a lot less washed out. I think there's been a significant improvement there. And here's a shot of Rutherford inside, kind of behind where I was filming, and lighting's not great, but man, oh man, it does a really good job of resolving lots of detail on his face and his fur. No surprises, the camera looks really good. Let's take a look at a video sample. One area where Pixel devices have long kind of lagged behind some of their competitors, like the iPhone or some Samsung devices, is in video. No, I don't actually see the video boost option just yet. It may be behind this update that I'm about to install, but I will say, at first blush, this video does look pretty solid to me. What do you think? So a couple of things I want to quickly touch on now that I've kind of used the device to take some pictures, take some videos. I want to kind of close with this. This thing, if you're wondering, does it feel fast? Well, the answer is yes, it absolutely does feel very, very fast. You can see as I'm kind of just jumping around the operating system here, everything is moving extremely quickly. No concerns about speed with this thing at all. This thing feels very, very fast, very, very smooth. I've still not finished installing that update, so keep that in mind, but it does feel extremely fast. I also do want to give you a taste test of the speakers on this thing. I think the speakers sound very, very good. In fact, they're right in the same range as something like my Pixel Fold. They're very loud, bass is decent. A little bit of distortion at maxed out volume, but I think the speakers are pretty darn impressive. I know everybody's gonna be asking about thermals and things like that. I've not used it long enough to know. I've charged it up. We're at 32.9 Celsius. That's a pretty normal temperature. I'll report back on if anything weird happens there. But for now, it feels fast, it feels fluid feels very premium. I do also want to point this out. Maybe you saw it earlier on in the video, but mine did uh, come pre-scuffed. Mine has a little mark on the back and on the side there. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Because it, it was free, but that was the case for me. Let's take a look really quickly at this temperature sensor because I did not do that. The app is called Thermometer and let's jump in and I'll show you how this works. So object temperature appears to be the only option that I have. And there are material presets you can go default or you can pick a specific thing. So we're just gonna go with default and tap to measure. Oh, so that was it. So that was that was how long that took. So I did that and it was 74.5. And you can hit restart. Let's do my hand, 85.2. My Pixel Fold has been on a wireless charger. Let's use it, 89.1. That, you know, that seems pretty reasonable because it, again, was just on a wireless charger. 84.5, 88. 88.5. Okay. Temperature sensor. Five centimeters to two centimeters is your best distance. So uh, yeah, there's the, there's your thermometer if you're wondering about that. So there you go, guys. That is my first set of impressions of the Pixel 8 Pro and the Pixel Watch 2. Of course, I will have a full array of content coming on this device. Tips tricks, tutorials, things to try, and of course, reviews. Short-term reviews, long-term reviews. You know how I do things on this channel, so definitely subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on that stuff. I do have to say and want to say big thank you to Team Pixel for Google 
for sending this thing over for me. Of course, I am a member of Team Pixel, which means, as you saw in the beginning, Google sent this stuff over for me to review. However, they don't seem to expect anything in return. I don't have to send them early copy of my video. They have no editorial input. There's no money changing hands. They simply send me the device, and I'm free to say what I want to say about it. And what I want to say so far about the Pixel 8 Pro is... First impressions are very, very strong. The camera looks great as always. These AI features look absolutely unbelievable. I don't know if my brain will ever fully recover from the magic editor experience that I had in this video. Hopefully you found that entertaining. Again, subscribe for my continued coverage. Drop questions, things you want to see covered in the comments down below, and I'll get to that stuff as quickly as I can in upcoming content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.